Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move in the lives of your people. Zende Velehaza. Mayande Reveusiata. Holy Spirit, visit the case of your people tonight. Imaya da 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 basanda da basi andere osa. Yes, Lord. Abaya di osata. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. We need you, Spirit of God. Shinda da da basandi osata. Yes, Lord. Spirit of God, we need you tonight. We need you to feel your people tonight. Zelo vahala zavaliata. Feel your people tonight. Zebra gadosa. Ayande le velo siata la gadaba. Imam peli gavala hados. Zelon de viliata lava. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. My sister is on. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Prayer Network. Facebook, God bless you. Scope, God bless you. Wherever you're watching from, God bless you. Uh, when I see fire, I see my sister. <laughs> praise God. Hey, but I'm grateful to God tonight for the life of everyone under the sound of my voice. Right before we, I came on social media. God bless you. God bless you, Prophetess Serafina. God bless you, Alan. God bless you, Catherine. God bless you indeed. Hear me. So right before I came on tonight, we're on the prayer network praying for the Spirit of God. Not, not because... We don't have the Spirit of God, but we're praying for the Spirit of God because I believe that there is a measure of the Spirit that ought to come upon the lives of many people. Uh, there are some things that you cannot get without the Spirit. The Bible declares that when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, or when the unction of the Holy Ghost comes upon you, ye shall know all things. Can you hear me clearly? All right, scope, y'all can hear me. That's good. Now the Bible says, when now as y'all come in, just share it, okay? As you come in, just share it. So share it if you've not shared it already. Uh, if you're not ashamed of Jesus, go ahead and share it. All right. So the Bible says, "Ye shall know all things after the Spirit or the unction of the Holy Ghost is come upon you." Uh, the Holy Spirit is a carrier of the presence of God. Listen, the Holy Spirit himself is the presence of God. He is a carrier of the presence and he himself is the presence of God. The Holy Spirit is the voice of God. He is the carrier of the voice of God and he himself is the voice of God. All right, the Holy Spirit is the carrier of wisdom. The Bible makes us understand that concerning Jesus, the Bible says that the spirit of the fear of the Lord shall be upon him. The spirit of might, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding. All these spirits are a part of the Holy Spirit. All these spirits are a part of the Holy Spirit. And so when we, the, and so the fullness of the Holy Spirit, a full measure of the Holy Spirit means the spirit of wisdom. It means the spirit of understanding. It means the spirit of the fear of the Lord. It means the spirit of might. It means <clears throat> everything that you can ever think about. The person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit leads us. He is our leader. The Holy Spirit partners with us. He is our partner. The Holy Spirit delivers us. He is a deliverer. The Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is God in us. 
Mashanda Valusata. I'm spending just a little bit of time talking tonight because uh, I, I believe that it is really necessary, it is needed to understand why we pray for the things that we pray for. All right. So the Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit Himself is God. The Bible, the Bible makes us understand that the Holy Spirit searches the things that are on the heart of the Father and reveals it to us. He is a revelator. The Holy Spirit is a revelator. I need you to write it down for me. Write it for me. He is a revelator. The Holy Spirit is a revelator. He reveals to us. He, he reveals to us. He searches the things that are on the heart of the Father and reveals it to us. He is our revelator. Well, for example, just last night, uh, right, right after praying uh, on social media, Amanda called me and said, hey, I think or I believe that you need to talk more or teach more on what you're going to be praying about so everyone has a full understanding of what we're praying about. That was the Holy Spirit or our precious Holy Spirit speaking to her and through her and he revealed to her he spoke through her and to her the holy spirit is our revelator he is our revelator all right that is the reason one reason why you need a high measure of him if you just come in and i want you to go ahead and share it as you come in just go ahead and share it as you come in on on scope on periscope i want you to invite your followers as you come in share it on twitter uh, wherever you're watching from, just share it. So that, that is, that is the, a part of the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. He is our director. He is our director. He is our director. I need somebody to write it up for me. He is our director. He is our director. He directs you in life. He, the Bible says in Psalm 23, He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Oh, praise God. Man of God, I see you. Pa A Apostle New Love, God bless you so much. God bless you. I owe you a phone call this week. I'm calling you this week, man of God. And so the Holy Spirit is our director. He directs our path. He, he directs our path. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. There, the Bible says that there is a way that seems right to the eyes of man. But the end thereof is destruction. Left to me alone, I will be headed to hell. If God left everything, my whole life and my all in my hands, I will be headed towards the right direction, the wrong direction. That is why I need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit directs my path. He leads me in the present, in the path of righteousness. There is a way that seems right to the eyes of men, but the end thereof is destruction. If you are in ministry, you need the Holy Spirit or our precious Holy Spirit to direct you. If you are in business, you need, you sure do need the presence of our precious Holy Spirit to direct you. If you are an investor, you need a presence of the precious Holy Spirit to direct you. There are many folks who put their money, who invested their funds into the wrong investment. Everybody did it and experienced uh, a good return. You just went ahead and did it too. And just when you did it, the whole investment collapsed. You lost it all. The Holy Spirit is our director. In your education, if you confuse about what to do in your career, the Holy Spirit has the answer. The Bible says he searches the heart of the Father. He has access to the heart of God. He has access to the heart of God. And who is this God that we talk about? I'm talking about the one who created you. I'm talking about the one who has the plan for your beginning and your end. The one who knows what happens to you tomorrow and 10 days from now? That is the God that I'm talking about. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God bless you, Bahamas. 
the God of Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one who knows you, the one who knows what is ahead of you. And so, if I have a question about my tomorrow, who best can I go to than the one who created me? All right, all right. Now, the Bible says that this precious Holy Spirit, this Holy Spirit of ours, our precious Holy Spirit has access to the things that are on the heart of the Father. He has access to the menu of heaven. He has access to the agenda of heaven concerning our life. That is why we need a higher measure of the Spirit. A high measure of the Spirit will lead us to the right places, to the right people. A high measure of the Spirit places words in our mouth. What, do, what then shall we say? What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us when the precious Holy Spirit is in us? When we receive a high measure of the presence of the Spirit, we become bold. And so the presence of the Holy Spirit is the carrier of boldness. Or the Holy Spirit is the carrier of boldness. We become bold, bold to things that that bring, that causes fear in the lives of other people. We become bold in the sight of the enemy or to the works of the enemy. We become bold. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? The Bible says that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. And so he lives in us. And so if God be for me, if God lives in me, Paul understood this thing so well. He says, so if God be for me, who can be against me? I'm talking about the one who has the the stars in his hands the one who has the entire galaxy in his hands i'm talking about the one who owns the heavens and the earth if this god be for me who can be against me uh, and i don't have to do nothing extraordinary to have this god in me he already called me his own he already called my temple his own he already called my body his own he already called my mind his own and so all i need to do is to submit to his will. All I need to do is to connect to his spirit. I might not, my flesh might not be strong enough to get me there, but his spirit sure will. That is why I need his spirit. Uh, my mind cannot get me there, but his spirit sure will. That is why I need his spirit. My, 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 my intellect cannot get me there, but his spirit sure will. That is why I need his spirit. If his spirit fills us, my goodness, his spirit will take us places where we have not thought of going. His spirit will lead us to things that we have never thought about. His spirit will open our eyes to see things that we have never imagined, conceived, or thought about ever seeing. The precious Holy Spirit. That's who we're praying for tonight. You might be born again and filled with the Holy Spirit and still talking in tongues. But you need a higher measure of the spirit. We need a higher measure of the spirit. We want to say, Lord, tonight take me deeper into to you we want to say lord tonight fill my cup fill me with your spirit i am filthy without you i am feel i'm a hot mess without you lord in the name of jesus and wherever you are, i want you to just lift your voice right now for the next few minutes just pray for his spirit you need healing the spirit is a carrier of healing you need deliverance. The Spirit of God is the carrier of deliverance. You need business ideas. Who best can give you business ideas? You need God to give you business ideas. Whatever you desire, the presence of God is a carrier of that which you desire and that which you will ever think about. That is why it's important that right now, wherever you are, you begin to lift up your voice and begin to pray for His presence. Pray for his presence and let your heart be in sync with the words that you speak in. Let your heart be in sync with the prayers that you're praying for. You are saying, Lord, tonight I pray that you fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your presence. I want a high measure, a higher measure of your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, fill my mind with your presence. In the name of Jesus, let your presence take over my mind. Let your presence bring 
going to su subdue every voice that is not of you. Let your presence, O oh God, subdue my flesh to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I need more of your presence, Lord. We need more of your presence in my family. Oh Lord, in the lives of the people under the sound of my voice, we ask tonight that you pour out your presence in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We want to walk by the Spirit. We want to move by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, pour out your Spirit upon us. In the name of Jesus, let the Spirit of wisdom be released upon us. Let the Spirit of the fear of the Lord be released upon us. In the name of Jesus, Father, tonight we pray that your spirit will invade our lives. Let your spirit invade our minds. Let your spirit invade our bodies. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit, oh God, invade our plans. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit invade this ministry. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to be led by you. I want to do things by your leading. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release the wisdom that is needed, the ideas that is needed by your spirit. Holy Spirit, I pray that you fill this temple. Fill this temple beyond measure. In the name of Jesus, I want more of you. I want more of your understanding. I want more of your power. Holy Spirit, fill me with your power. Fill my family with your power. Fill your people under the sound of my voice with your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be an infill tonight, an infill of your power, an infill of your presence, an infill of your anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we need you, O oh Lord, tonight. We need more of you. Our children need you. Lord, we need you. We need you in the land. We need your spirit. We need your spirit, the spirit of peace. We need it in the land, the spirit of peace. We need it in the land, the spirit of purity. Lord, release it upon us and into us in the name of Jesus, for we are weak without you. We are weak without Without you, we cannot do it without you. Can't do nothing without you, Lord. We depend on you, Lord. We depend on your presence. We depend on your power. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. In the name of Jesus. Salaman the Oshata. Ikababa sende rebe osianta la babaya. Ikadababa shanda dadaba sata. Lebron di kavala ziata. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we need you tonight. Lord, we need a soba sha. We need a fresh infill of your anointing. In the name of Jesus. For we know that the precious Holy Spirit is the carrier of your anointing. In the name of Jesus. And we also understand. That when the anointing is released, yokes are destroyed. And so by your spirit and by the anointing of your spirit, Heavenly Father, let yokes be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We pray tonight, O oh God, that you release a high measure of your spirit upon us, upon our family members, upon the partners of this ministry, upon the men of the, and the women. That we stand in the God for Father, let there be a release in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release of your presence. We need your presence tonight. Regada Baramandio Sata Rebedebe O Sata Zedom Valahaziata. In the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit into us. Fill us, O God, with a high measure of your spirit. Let your precious Holy Spirit open the eyes of our intellect. Let your precious Holy Spirit open our minds that we may understand. Let your precious Holy Spirit open our eyes that we might see the opportunities around us and see the doors and see the gates and see the path that you want us to go on. In the name of Jesus, let, your, let our eyes be open to ideas. In the name of Jesus, let our eyes be open. Oh God, God, that we might become a solution to world class problems in the name of Jesus. Lord, you do it and take the glory. 
Lord, you do it and take the praise. In the name of Jesus, only you can do it, Lord. That is why I call on you tonight. Only you can do it. Holy Spirit, come into the lives of your people and heal every sickness and heal every disease. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of God, we want more of you tonight. Spirit of God, we want more of your power tonight. Spirit of God, we want more of your anointing tonight. Spirit of God, come take over our body. Spirit of God, come take over our mind. Spirit of God, control our tongue. Spirit of God, control our emotions. Spirit of God, control, control. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Zenemerose terebeoshata. In the name of Jesus, we want more of you, Lord. We want more of your healing power. In the name of Jesus. Lord, do it and take the glory. Holy Spirit, come on in and heal the bodies of your people. Come on in, Holy Spirit, and change our mindsets. Come on in and introduce us to the knowledge, to the wisdom that we need, that is needed in our life and on our path to purpose fulfillment. Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, we need a touch from you. Holy Spirit, we need a fresh outpour. In the name of Jesus, there are many under the sound of my voice tonight who need direction. Holy Spirit, provide direction for your people. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, stir up every gift inside of your people. Stir up every potential inside of us. Give us the strategies of this life. The strategies of your kingdom. Reveal it to us, O oh God. Reveal the hidden wisdom and the hidden knowledge concerning our destinies to us. Holy Spirit, you have access to the heart of the Father. To the heart of God the Father. To the heart of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We ask tonight that you search his heart. And reveal the deep secrets concerning our destiny to us. In our sleep. In our day visions. In our night visions. Reveal to us. Reveal to us, oh God, even our enemies. Reveal the plots of the wicked to us. By your spirit, let revelation come to us. By your spirit, let there be a release of revelation. By your spirit. Let our eyes of revelation be opened by the spirit of the living God. Lord, we need you tonight. Father, we need you tonight. Father, we need your spirit. We need your spirit to heal the sick. We need the precious Holy Spirit to redirect our path. We need the precious Holy Spirit to redirect our cause. We need the precious Holy Spirit to give us multi-million dollar ideas. In the name of Jesus, Father, we submit our all to you tonight. We submit our all to your precious Holy Spirit tonight. Holy Spirit, come heal, come heal. Come heal tonight. Heal the bodies of your people tonight. Heal the minds of your people tonight. For darkness and light cannot coexist. And so if our bodies be temples of the Holy Spirit, we pray tonight that as you come dwell in your temple, that you drive away every sickness and every disease in our lives, in our bodies, in our families, in the life of our partners, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you do it and take the glory. Father, you do it and take the glory. Father, you do it and take the glory. You do it and take the glory. You do it and take the glory. Thank you that you are releasing your fire upon your select people who are going to be referred to as the 
end time carriers of fire. I thank you, O Lord, that we are a part of these people. In the name of Jesus, thank you that you are birthing what men call a revival in our lives and in the lives of many. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, this is your word. Take over and do that which you please. In our life, in our ministry, forgive us for all the times that we drove you out of our churches and out of our ministries and out of our lives. Holy Spirit, forgive us. Forgive us tonight and come back in and take over and do that which you please and glorify yourself in our lives, in our minds, in our families. Thank you for driving. Thank you, oh God, for forgiving us. Forgiving us. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive your people for driving your precious Holy Spirit out of the churches, out of our ministries, out of our families, and out of our lives. Lord, forgive us and restore unto us the joy of our salvation through our precious Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hear me tonight. I believe tonight that if you've prayed this prayer with understanding that God will cause you to see results not 10 days from today but tonight right now the spirit of God hey prophet Javan God bless you hey mama Mother Khan, God bless you. Thank you so much. Amanda, God bless you. But hear me. If you have prayed this prayer, I strongly believe God does not need time to manifest himself in your life. God does not need time. We need time. God needs no time to manifest himself. In your life. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. And so I want you to get ready. As we were praying. I saw some. I saw an attack. Against the life of somebody. Your right side. It's been hurting. You know you. It's been. You've been feeling pains. It was an attack or stroke. That was coming that your way. But as we were praying, I saw that attack being lifted. And I declare over your life in the name of Jesus that it will, the plans of the wicked against your life will not prosper. It will not stand. It will not work. The enemy has lost the battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I want you for the rest of this new day, and depend on your time zone, I want you to keep praying for the presence of God. And if you just join us, I want you to go ahead and share it. If you just join us uh, on Facebook, go ahead and share it. Go ahead. And, matter of fact, go ahead and share it on Facebook and type shared. Go ahead and share it and type shared. If, if, if you on scope, I want you to share it on Twitter. But hear me. King David, this busy man, this wealthy man, King David, the man after God's own heart, King David, anointed man, King David, one who had the greatest army in his time, King David, he prayed a prayer after he had done something wrong. In Psalm 51, he prayed to God after he had sinned. He wasn't worried about the money he could lose. He wasn't worried about the seat, the royal seat that he could potentially lose. He was not worried about the vanities of this world. Watch this. After sinning against God, he cried out to God in prayer. And he said, 
create. Let me start from verse 9. And this is what we'll end with. Psalm 51. Verse 9. He said, hide. Do not hide. Oh, no, excuse me. He says, hide your face from my sins. And blot out all my iniquities. If we were doing Bible study, I would tell you that this portion has been taken care of by the precious blood of Jesus. But that is for another day. Verse 10. And he cries out and says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. He doesn't stop there. He goes ahead to verse 11. And he says, cast me not away from your presence. Not the money. Not the miracles. Not the breakthrough. But cast me not away from your presence. Lord, if you take everything else away from me. Please don't take your presence away from me. You see, King David had a good understanding of the presence of God. The presence of God has access to everything that you and I can ever desire on earth. While many are busy trying to connect with this man or that woman because they got some good connects or because they have a good name or whatever or they know somebody that you want to get to and whatever reason you want to connect with people I'm here to tell you tonight that the most important person that you need to connect to on a daily basis, the most important person that we need to connect to on a daily basis, I mean on a minute basis, is the presence of God. And the presence of God is not some wind somewhere. The presence of God is a personality. The presence of God is a personality. An omnipresent personality. He's here, he's there, and everywhere. King David understood that if he lost the presence of God, he had lost everything in life. That is why we need his presence. What have you lost tonight? Who's broken your heart? What relationships have you been denied? Whatever you've lost. Whatever you're going through, the presence of the Holy Spirit can fill that void and restore if restoration is needed and provide if provision is needed and deliver if deliverance is, if deliverance is needed and open doors if open doors are needed and open gates if open gates are needed. As a matter of fact, the, our precious Holy Spirit leads us to pray. I tell you of a surety. I came on the night. Wanted to teach on uh, is Ezekiel 37. And pray on Ezekiel 37. Immediately I got on the prayer network. I said let us pray for the presence of God. And here we are. Brought it on social media. And we prayed for the presence of God. That is I believe the leading of the spirit. As much as we need money, as much as we need the breakthrough and we need the properties and we need, uh, some need husbands and some need wives and some need this or that or big houses or big cars or small cars, whatever you need. As much as we need, we think we need all these things that we want. You heard that? As much as we think we need all these things that we want, I believe the most important thing, person, that we need is the pres presence of the Holy Spirit. Think about it. Pray about it. Pray more into it. And watch God fill you. Tell him, fill me, Lord. Fill me. Fill me. He's here for us. The Bible says, if God did not withhold his 
only begotten Son from us, how much more the presence of the Holy Spirit. If God did not withhold His only begotten Son, whom He loved so much, according to John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. The one whom God loved so much, He gave Him up. How much more? Our precious Holy Spirit. As you have asked tonight, it is my prayer that God will fill you. That God will fill us. Stop, let us stop kicking the presence of God out of our churches and out of the, our ministries. Let us stop kicking Him out of our business. Let us allow God to fill us and lead us. To fill us and lead us. To fill us and lead us. Most challenges I've come to realize. This is wisdom. Most challenges that we encounter. Is as a result of the lack of his presence. Most roadblocks that we run into. Are as a result of a lack of his presence. He called us into ministry. And if he called us into ministry, who then do we go to when we run into challenges in ministry? Do we then go to the strategists? Do we then consult other powers? Or we go back to the one who called us. And the one who called us, Elohim, has made available to us here on earth his presence, an extension of him. And he's called us, our temple, us, our bodies, as the temple of his presence. How precious it is for my body to be a residence of God. Father, reside in us, possess us, and use us for your glory in Jesus' name. Make our light shine. Make our lives become so bright. Make our lives become so beautiful. Because you are beautiful. And because you live in us. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I love God. And I pray you do. I trust you do. I love God. I want you to post the, uh, put a website up for me. I need about five people. Put a website up. If you're on Facebook, you've not shared this, I want you to share it. I want you to share it. I'm praying to God. I want the Facebook videos. I want these Facebook videos. I want it to. I want our numbers to really increase. I, I think I need to pray on that. I want our numbers to really increase because there are some funny videos and some... Videos that don't make any sense out there. And I'm telling you, they, they catch the eyes of people. They really uh, reach they reach uh, a good number of people. And if prayer, if videos like that can reach many people, why not prayer videos? Why not, why not our prayer? Why not? Why? Why? Why not? I believe there are many people out there who need this prayer who need to see these videos and i want you to help me accomplish that goal just share it as much as you can inbox it to people send it to people and let's make impact together god bless you so much on that website i want you to post your testimony on that website i want you to share your testimony on the website click add comment and post your testimony if you are led to sow you may do so as well on the website. God bless you. I love you so much. May God favor you and increase you and expand all of us. May our testimonies increase. May God anoint our hands with the oil for success. May the healing oil be released upon every soul under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, because we have stayed up to pray at this hour, may God visit every need of ours. In the name of Jesus, 
May our ears be open to the voice of God. May our eyes be open to see the things that God wants us to see. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may we become carriers of solutions to world class problems. In the name of Jesus, may we no longer become an, a mockery agent of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, may we become a marvel to the sight of the enemy. May we become, may our lives become a marvel in the life, or in the sight of people who thought that nothing good can come out of us. I decree and I declare that we are rising to the top and we will remain there. We will stay there. I declare success upon our lives, success upon our family, on every side, in Jesus' precious name. I declare we are blessed. We are highly favored. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name. Amen. On the background, you hear it. The new prayer CD. It is called Heal the Land. Heal the Land. Heal the Land. And it's coming out soon. But you get to hear just a little bit of it. God bless you. I love you so much. Shalom. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, uh, everyone who's on right now. Thank you so much. Nelly, Alan, KB, Yvonne. Thank you. Chanel, thank you. Yaya, thank you. Catherine, thank you. I know we're praying together, but I'm grateful. Miss Hoffman, thank you. Sweet Amari, thank you. Sarah, thank you. Wonderful Pearl, thank you. Thank you for joining us in prayer. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you. Shalom. Kavala Siasa. God bless y'all.